Hi guys, so today is day 136 of not having a wheelchair after BA in London City Airport made my wheelchair unusable on October 19th, 2015. I'm home alone again today. Uh, my lunch, which I will be eating in a bit, is a protein shake because none of my support workers are able to get to me today. They all um, have various other things that they need to attend to. A friend of mine invited me out for lunch, um, which is in town, and I can't get there because I can't use public transportation because I don't have a wheelchair. So my lunch is a protein shake. That's just the status of being disabled in 2016 and the human rights you have or don't have. Sometimes you don't know where your next meal is coming from, particularly when you don't have your mobility. Um, I got a letter, well, my solicitor got a letter from BA yesterday. It was marked private and confidential, so I can't really tell you the details of the letter. It's that to say nothing has changed. I still don't have a wheelchair. BA still doesn't seem to be taking the situation seriously. BA and London City Airport seem to be tied up in blaming each other rather than fixing the situation, which is really sad and really frustrating because I'm stuck in the middle and it's my life that's being impacted. And anyone who knows me knows that I'm a trooper. I don't complain much at all. I own my own business. I have four employees that I pay whose livelihood depends on my work. Um, and so, yeah, these problems go unnoticed a lot because I don't call attention to them and I don't help on them. But the reality is in this world, if you are severely physically disabled like I am, you are vulnerable. And many days you don't know where your next meal is gonna come from, or who's gonna step on your rights, be it BA, London City Airport, the bus driver, the man at Tesco's, or your best friend. That's, that's the reality of life. Um, you know, it's funny. I keep thinking about how we as humans, the second people blame us for anything, it is in our nature to get defensive and say, no, that's not me. I would never do that. And I get that. I get why evolutionarily that is to our advantage. I get why we don't want to see reality and so we throw up psychological blocks. I get why relationships are destroyed because one or both parties don't want to see 
their behavior the way the rest of the world sees their behavior. I get all that. And that is human, and that is a flaw in us all, and that is understandable. It might not be okay, but it is understandable. What's really scary is when multi-billion dollar companies and governing bodies and those who are in control and in power do the same thing, which is what's going on here. Because it means rather than looking impersonally at what is right, you do what's convenient for the company, which isn't even a thing. It's a made-up conglomerate of people. No one's going to be out of pocket by fixing the situation. And yet they choose to get defensive rather than look at the issue. And that's really a sad statement of where we are today, I think.